I flipped out of my grandmother's hammock and landed between stones the first time I saw you. But you were just a sprig of asphodel then. Seven-year-olds could buy cigarettes. Dogs were trusted behind the wheel of a jeep when the owner was adequately drunk. We had the simple things, like crown royal bags for our marbles. Someone had cut my hair with lobster scissors. I'm not even sure if my eyes were the same color or who was driving me to Pike's Peak. Were you born in a field next to a barrel filled with burning plywood? I imagine you walking out of the sea instead, except we only had lakes. They would find you clinging to a lighthouse at midnight. There could be no other explanation. You were destined to hot rod a 1965 Mustang GT350 on a dirt road with elbow high corn on either side. You were born to step into a pawn shop and rip all the guitars off the wall. Street lights wouldn't dare blink out when you walked by. I had dreams of becoming a Carmelite nun, spending every day with my onion skin dyes and stitchery. You learned to ride in Appaloosa when your great grandfather abandoned you in a snowy field. I learned to ride my first horse before I was even alive. I knew there would be one man courageous enough not to drink margaritas from plastic sombreros, who wouldn't bring a Bensonville Lolita to the junior prom, or build his own boat with a garbage bag sail. The day you were born, jackhammers refused to pummel the asphalt. There was a ghost cavern in the center of every loaf of bread. Bells had no more reasons not to ring. What was once upstream? down.